Hello everybody, this is Ambu and today I'm gonna show you how to do proper Twixter with timer map. Let's go. So this tutorial was requested a lot uh, just because people that uh, did a Twixter uh, wanted to know how to do the timer map and actually timer map is really good to learn with Twixter as well uh, because it makes the Twixter so much smoother and uh, makes the flow overall so much better of the edit. So what I'm gonna do first is Twixter this clip. Um, if you don't know how to Twixter clips, I did a tutorial like a few days ago uh, where I show you how to properly Twixter clips um, to get ready for the timer map. So I'm gonna Twixter this clip real quick and then we're gonna get into the timer map. Okay, so now that we got uh, our clip all key framed and stuff, um, Full movement on each and every single keyframe uh, also notice how my clip isn't really the best to twixter since uh, some some parts has really 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 high like um, the frames jump way too much and the twixter is not gonna be smooth in those kind of frames but that doesn't matter since um, we're gonna use timer map and everything is gonna look good uh, as long as we use the timer map correctly that's why it's so important to learn it so now i'm gonna put my twixter uh preset also that i gave you in the in the last video that i made so make sure you check that that twixter video is very important um my twixter i'm gonna put my twixter right on it and make sure i know where the clip ends right here where the distortion begins perfect um i'm gonna pre-compose it make sure to cut out the the first frame perfectly there we go and now that we pre compose our clip and everything we can begin timer mapping um just right click on your clip uh, go to time and enable timer mapping and make sure you put a keyframe at the end of the clip every single time and go on the end and put um a keyframe on the end so now you have your clip like keyframed up um and ready to put on whatever song you're using make sure you uh, put the right beats and put it right above whenever you want the clip to end and uh add keyframe in uh, keyframes in between if you have more beats so basically what i'm gonna do give me a second i'm gonna show you kind of a little bit of, of a slow clip with twixter and i'm gonna use the timer map um you see just because i have like the the twixter settings that i have like no warping is going on that's why like um, you, it's really important for you to download my preset because it's really good settings for Twixer. Uh, one of the best I've seen to be honest. So that's why it's um, it's really uh, beneficial for you to download uh, my preset. It doesn't cost any money, it's free. So make sure you do that. Okay, so I'm going to begin uh, to time remap my clip. So basically, whenever you want to time remap is like uh, whenever uh, the character in your scene or whatever begins another movement so basically he goes back here he's going back he's preparing the punch and now he's trying to go forward that's when i'm gonna have my time map and then he stops again right here and right over here somewhere okay let's let's begin so basically what i want to do first is put a keyframe right over here when he begins to go forward i'm gonna do that real quick and then And then I'm going to make sure to put one right over here. And that's about it. So basically this is like three keyframes uh, without counting the one that it's going to end. So what I'm going to do is actually leave that right there. I'm going to make it this length and put this right about there and there. Okay, so let's say I had like four beats. Uh, on my song that I want to edit and these are the four beats that I want to time remap Basically, this is your graph editor um, after you uh, click your You select all of your uh, keyframes and go right here into graph editor and After you're here just select everything just drag your mouse over everything and press this one This is easy ease or you can just press f9 whatever you want to wh whenever you want to do this is will allow you uh, to move your clips around like this uh, with the grab editor so uh, what you want to do and it's very important is begin the clip 
um, begin the timer map fast and end it fast as well. So basically, this is this is what it means that it's fast. It's going fast right here and then slow over here. You can do that as well, but mm, I don't know. Uh, whatever you like. Basically, uh, I like to do this right here. But it begins fast and then it ends fast. But a little bit less here because the clip is continuing and I want to like do a smooth continuation. I don't want to like end it abruptly. And I'm going to show you how that looks if I do just this. Basically, if I did just that, the clip will look exactly like this. And if I had if I had the beats, you will see like the beats like matching the uh, the clip as well. So that's basically like flow type of editing. Um, you can do that as well. So each uh, each time I did that, like the character changes motion somehow. Okay. Um, another another way to time your map is basically do this when you when you basically want like a clip. Um, you want to start it fast and then just slowly like um, stop moving. Just make it smooth really smooth it's basically you do this you start it fast and then you end it really slow and it's that that's gonna look like that you see that and if you want another uh if you want another another example uh i can show you like this when it starts really fast and it ends really slow And you can do even more with this. Um, you can also like uh, begin really slow and end really fast. It just depends on how uh, how your clip um, want to look. Begins really slow and ends really fast. It's like preparing to punch and then punches. Uh, if you want, if you want the end to show a little bit more you can do that you can like up it a little bit of the frame and it shows a little more uh, but if not you you just want to do like a slow edit um basically what you have to do obviously the song is going to be way slower so you have to drag your clips um more to match the beat and basically this is how it's going to look like um when you stretch your clips your keyframe are going to go all over the place so make sure you reposition them properly um and also make sure uh the second the second keyframe that you use on your clips make sure it is not as like fast as the first one because you want to like continue it um smoothly you see what i mean like smooth twixter it's not um it, this is for slow edits if you don't want to do slow edits uh, i showed you the first part but yeah, that, that's what I mean when I say smooth twixter. But yeah, that's basically the whole thing about the uh, timer map and twixter and everything. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you want anything, um, if you want help understanding something that you don't probably know much about um, uh, editing related, if you want more tutorials with like, uh, I don't know, whatever, just shakes, transitions, I already made that, but... If you want some other shakes and some other transitions, maybe edgy editing, I don't know. Whatever you want, just put it down in the comments. And the next comment that gets like um, the most amount of likes, I'm going to make sure to pay attention to it and make a tutorial around it. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'm going to see you in the next one.